The Wonder Years made its debut on January 31st, 1988. The show was set in the 60s, and it was the coming-of-age story of Kevin Arnold. If you're a fan of the show, get ready. Here are 25 surprising facts about The Wonder Years. Facts First presents The Wonder Years, 25 Secrets from Set. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. I was 12 years old. Fred Savage will always be Kevin Arnold. After the show, Fred Savage made the transition from actor to producer and director, but he'll always be Kevin Arnold to most people. Fred knows this and he doesn't mind. If it weren't for Kevin Arnold, he wouldn't be where he is today. The basic concept for the show began as a film script. Carol Black, the series co-creator, says that initially the script was considered for a movie. They thought that it would be interesting to have an adult narrator giving their point of view from the future. Shortly after the narrator idea came to be, Carol and the other co-creator, Neil Marlins, who was also her husband, decided it would be best for TV. A Christmas Story inspired The Wonder Years. The inspiration for the use of narration and the coming-of-age storyline was inspired by A Christmas Story. Peter Billingsley, who played Ralphie in A Christmas Story, appeared in the last two episodes as one of Kevin's roommates. The Wonder Years production was revolutionary. Production-wise, The Wonder Years was different than most shows. They had a single camera setup, they used a narrator, and there was no laugh track. The producers took a huge risk with these changes, but it was worth the risk. Fred Savage came highly recommended. Casting kids isn't easy, especially for a lead role. The show's creators interviewed five different directors for recommendations, and they all mentioned Fred Savage due to his role in The Princess Bride. They watched clips of Fred's work, and they saw that his true quality was being a kid, which is what they wanted. This was rare in child actors. The show was set in any town USA. There was no specific location for Kevin's hometown. Neil Marlins wanted it to be set in his hometown of Huntington, Long Island. Carol Black wanted it to be Silver Spring, Maryland. In the end, they didn't give Kevin a hometown, but fans often looked for clues. They noticed that Jack's license plate and Wayne's driver's license stated California. The Wonder Years premiered after the Super Bowl. The Wonder Years premiered on January 31, 1988. This was also the night that the Washington Redskins beat the Denver Broncos in the Super Bowl, 42-10. The show premiered right after the Super Bowl, which Neil Marlins thought was great. He called it a bit of Americana after the quintessential example of Americana. The show won its first Emmy after six episodes. The first season didn't have the best ratings, but the critics loved it. On August 28, 1988, with only six episodes screened, Neil and Carol took home an Emmy for Outstanding Comedy Series. Fred Savage was the youngest lead actor Emmy nominee. In 1989, when Fred Savage was 13 years old, he became the youngest actor to be nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series. He was nominated again in 1990. Danica McKellar's competition for the role of Winnie was her sister. While casting for the role of Winnie Cooper, the casting director had two final contenders, Danica McKellar and her sister, Crystal. Danica was cast, and later, Crystal was cast as Becky Slater, Winnie's rival for Kevin's affection. Kevin and Winnie's first kiss was the actor's first kiss as well. In the first episode, Winnie and Kevin share an awkward kiss. It was also Fred and Danica's first kisses. They both admit that they were terrified and nervous about the kissing scene. Fred Savage and Danica McKellar admit to having a mutual crush. Fred and Danica say that their relationship morphed into a brother-sister relationship, but at the beginning of the show, they had a crush on one another. Dan Loria was the one who suggested that Jack Arnold be a veteran. Dan Loria was a Vietnam vet and a Marine. He suggested that Jack be a veteran. To fit the time frame, the writers decided to make him a Korean War veteran. It worked out well because when Karen left for college, Jack gave her his old duffel bag from his time in the service. They also had Vietnam War new on TV, and they used real clips from the war. Some of Kevin and Winnie's dialogue was taken from real life. The writers would often listen to the kids talk, and then took the things they said and added to the script. In the scene where Kevin asks Winnie if she likes a guy or if she likes him likes him, the lines were taken from Fred and Danica's conversations. This was how Fred asked her if she liked a guy. A growth spurt caused Winnie and Kevin's breakup. 
Kevin and Winnie always had an on-again, off-again relationship. Between the third and fourth seasons, Danica went through a growth spurt and was much taller than Fred. Because of this, the writers broke them up until Fred's height caught up to Danica's. Jason Hervey's brother was the real Wayne Arnold. Jason Hervey says he got a lot of his character from his real-life older brother. One example was when Kevin's mother forced Wayne to drive him to the mall when he got his driver's license. He dropped Kevin off at the furthest end of the mall possible, saying that technically it was the mall. When Wayne picked Kevin up and he was talking to a girl, he would jerk the car each time Kevin tried to open the door. This is something that Jason's big brother did on his first day of seventh grade. The characters growing up ended the show. As the kids in the cast got older, it gave the writers more stories to tell, but they weren't appropriate for the show or its 8 p.m. time slot. The network told the writers that their story ideas were great, but not for the Wonder Years. This is what led to the show ending after six seasons. The show called The Sopranos creator David Chase for help. To try to breathe new life into the show where the kids were all getting older, the writers brought in David Chase for some help. They needed something better than Kevin just complaining his mother wouldn't let him do something. David came up with an incredible script that included drug use, which wasn't okay for an 8 p.m. time slot back then. This would have been a big leap for the family show, but the execs said no. Scholar. Daniel Stern wasn't the original narrator. Daniel Stern was the voice of adult Kevin Arnold, but he wasn't the first. In the pilot, Ari Gross was the narrator. When the series premiered, it was re-recorded with Daniel Stern. Marilyn Manson was not Paul Pfeiffer. There's been a rumor on the internet for years that Paul Pfeiffer grew up to be Marilyn Manson. This is not true. Josh Saviano went to law school after the show, and he's working as a lawyer today and acts occasionally. He and Marilyn Manson are two different people. Paul and Josh. Josh Saviano has something in common with his character, Paul Pfeiffer. In the series finale, Kevin shares that Paul attended Harvard University and became a lawyer. Josh Saviano became a lawyer also, but he went to Yale. Fans were disappointed that Kevin and Winnie didn't end up together. Executive producer Bob Brush knew that fans would be upset that Kevin and Winnie didn't end up together, living happily ever after. He knew that kids mature, they change, and they grow apart. Bob didn't think it would be realistic if Kevin married the girl he was in love with when he was 12 years old. The writers all agreed that it would be best to make Kevin and Winnie go their separate ways in the end. The little boy's voice in the series finale is the narrator's son. At the very end of the final episode, you can hear the voice of Kevin's son asking him to come outside and play catch. The little boy who lent his voice for the final scene was Daniel Stern's son. The writers thought it would be great to have father and son lend their voices to the show. Many young actors worked on The Wonder Years. Over the years, there have been many guest stars on the show. Some of them went on to have great acting careers. A few of them include Juliette Lewis, Jim Caviezel, Alicia Silverstone, Giovanni Ribisi, Mark Paul Gossler, David Schwimmer, Carlo Gugino, and John Corbett. Robin Thicke was on the show also, and he played a young man trying to pick up a girl. Jack Arnold dated Maggie Seaver. Neil Marlins and Carol Black also worked on Growing Pains. At the time, Dan Loria was dating Joanna Kearns, a.k.a. Maggie Seaver. When they were casting for the show, Dan wanted the role of Jack. Joanna suggested he call Neil since they were friends. The two men grew up on Long Island and often teased each other about which school had the best sports teams. Dan thought it would be unprofessional to call Neil, so Joanna did it herself. She got him an audition and told Dan that Neil felt he was perfect for the role. Which of these facts was most surprising to you? Let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to Factsverse for more great videos. That night we looked for Wayne everywhere.